Section One Football Media Day 2024, presented by Game Day One, Veolia, and White Plains Hospital. Section One Football Media Day here at Mayapack High School, Kevin Vinny Jr. Joined now by Coach Dan DeFalco and the RZ Panthers. Coach, you didn't make it last year of Media Day, so we welcome you in. Thank uh, you. Just, uh, I know you love stuff like this, but just tell me about my favorite thing in the world. Yeah, talking yeah. about yourself and your team, but you got to feel good about this team coming in year after year. Uh, that you just, you're, you've just got a different level, of different product than maybe this program had 15 years ago. I mean, how, how do you feel the program looks right now? You know, I think we look great. Um, you know, we had a strong feeder program. Our JV did great like, uh, last year. We're returning some great football players this year that are going to step up um, into some key roles. So, you know, it's uh, it's these you know these guys' turn to, to get the job done. When you watched last year, Rye go on and do what they did. You knew how good Pleasantville was. Did you look back at the end of the season and think, man, we, we're much we're probably better than our record, and we probably ranked higher in the state than some of the teams they give us credit for? You know, I, I think that we did the best we possibly could. Um, you know, Rye was an exceptional football team. We played them twice and unfortunately didn't go our way, but I'm really proud of our guys for the way they played and the product they put out on the field. They represented Ardsley really well, and I think they represented, you know, Class B Section 1 football really well. What's the identity? What, what are some of the, I mean, you're losing a lot of guys, but what, what were some of the guys you're leaning on this season? I mean, we're leaning on these guys right here. You know, these guys, uh, you know, Trey Fury, Shane Speckman, Ryan Tucker, these guys are, the, you know, going to be the, the leaders of our program, you know, we have to obviously fill in a couple key roles in you know, our quarterback. Um, you know, Lucas Kaplan. You know, he's a JV quarterback. Uh, he's on. You know, played. You know, played for us a uh, few snaps on varsity last year um, in some games. But you know, he's going to be a new player, and we're really expecting high. You know, we have some high hopes for him taking on that leadership role in the offense. What are the numbers like, and, and what sort of numbers bring back on offense and defense? Um, it looks like we're bringing back. You know, around seven, six to seven per side of the ball. Um, but and now again, we're we're you know we're trying to figure out those other spots in the preseason. And we'll you know we're we're going to be scrimmaging New High Park week zero, so we're going to you know guys going to be out there competing for positions you know during that uh, scrimmage. And you know we open up at West Lakes. It's going to be a, a great you know great game. We're really looking forward to. Mm -hmm. So we're going to take it one game at a time. Pass it down. Absolutely. Tell me about the team so far. I mean, obviously it's early in camp. Uh, you've did a lot of off-season stuff as, as Coach Falco likes to do. But just uh, you know, what's what's been kind of the identity of this team so far? Uh, definitely. I mean, I think the biggest identity for us is I think we're just really young and hungry. I mean, we have a bunch of new guys coming up. We have Amadi returning and Lucas, who I've seen play pretty much his whole life. So, I mean, these guys know what, what rz has been able to do the, over the past however many years. So we know the standard we have to live up to, and we, we feel we can live up to that standard. Yeah, that the guys who won four or five years ago, they didn't grow up in a town that had great football. They, they were competing some years, but you guys did. So, I mean, how, how much how much of a benefit is it to, to kind of grow up knowing RZ football was going to compete for, for championships and playoff right. spots? Um, I mean, I think when you grow up only knowing winning, I think it, it's better than – when you got to see your a program rebuild, like all we know is how to win. We, we've never really experienced losing like that. So I think it's just engraved into all of our heads, and we know what to do and how to do it. Next down. I know it's a, it's like a quick preseason. It feels like you're going to be back at school next week and uh, playing a game, uh, you know, playing scrimmage and then a game after that. So just, uh, you know, how how different is it this year, maybe than years past, getting ready for uh, those first games. Uh, it's definitely a lot different this year. You know, um, we have um, two really early, early morning practices. Um, we had those the last two days, but then tomorrow we're going into a later afternoon session, still a double session. So it um, should be very interesting um, with an inconsistent um, preseason schedule to um, really get it rolling. And, and again, same thing as coach. When you look back at last year, uh, obviously losses are tough. But what did you learn uh, when you're facing teams like Rye and Pleasant? Um, we definitely learned not to overlook teams. Um, going into the Rye game, we really felt like we like overlooked them as a team. So like going into this year, we're just we're gonna take every every game, to look up to it. We're gonna um, we're just not gonna look overlook any teams, and we're really gonna um, look to be the best every week. That's the best down. Obviously, football is one on the offensive and defensive line, and uh, a big part yeah. for you. So just talk about the way this group has, has molded so far up front. Um, so basically, we're just going to build off what we had last year, and we're just going to we're just gonna give our um, all every play, and we're just going to do everything we can to be the best team and, and the best line, obviously, that we can. I know Coach doesn't want anyone getting ahead of themselves, but do you have goals for this team? I mean, what you guys want to do and, and get better as the year goes on? We just want to win all the games that we can, obviously. I mean, I mean, um, 
I mean, every single game is going to be like tough, a fight. Every single team in the section is great, so we're just going to fight and we're going to do our best and try to win every game that we can. And uh, we talked about the quarterback. But any other guys? Any other new players that are going to play big roles? Um, we have Amadi Dosin, Evan Matt, um, Justin Reaper. I mean, a lot of these guys are. Um, 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 also played last year, so we think that they're going to be good for us this year, and you know they're going to make a very big impact for us. We think. Awesome. Heads up, Coach Falco. Final word. I know, uh, as we said, this, the schedule is never going to be kind. So you always have a week in, week out grind. But uh, how much are you embracing that? And how much do you want these players to embrace that? I think that you know this season is is really special in the way that you know you know we knew that Rye was on the schedule last year. We knew that we you know we might have to face Pleasantville, and they had exceptional special players. I think that every team in the in Class B football right now is you know a contender you know to win every single game. You know, so like the guy said, you know we're going to take one play at a time, one game at a time, and we're just going to try to do our best to you know chip away at the schedule. I appreciate you guys hanging around. Good luck this season, Coach. Thanks, Good luck, guys. Thank you so much, Arjun. Thank you.